I put the Mosey Along project together, I'm the project director and I help write the bid, put the team together. I wrote a book a couple of years ago called Information Obesity and at the end of that book I proposed a project very much like this one but it was just an imaginary project about communities looking after and nurturing their own informational resources and developing the skills they needed to do so. So having not Having written about that project but never done one, I decided that it was a good idea to try and do the project. I think that the, the project has two kind of important aims. I think one of them is about this, about Mosey, about the museum itself, about uh, bridging people's histories of industry in Manchester, people's uh, community stories relating to the museum's artefacts. Like, Manchester's built on industry and there's always stories to tell. It's really exciting that people now have an opportunity to bring their stories into a museum, which is sort of normally a really uh, formal learning environment. And there's also this kind of network building aim, which I think is really exciting, where um, because we're, we're an open project, people are coming in from all sorts of walks of life, people who are already trying to do things like we're doing. That we try to bridge the gap between Mosi uh, and the public. So what we would like to find out is about people's stories that they are linked with the collections. And we thought it would be quite nice to sort of come and find out if we can use some of the stuff that's going on here. The reminiscence work and recording and archiving stuff that we do at our day centre with our clients and with people from the community. And I designed the learning model that underpins the project. I'm part of an informal research group called the Learner Generated Context Research Group that doesn't get any money for its research so that we can set our own agendas for research. And we're interested in the consequences of Web 2 on society and, and learning. We're bringing the technological aspects to things, so my role in this is going to be training people about social media, so I hopefully will be able to teach people how to use Twitter if they're interested, how to use Flickr, how to upload photos, and how to tag things with the Mosey Along tag, so that we can see um, what people have done. So using social media just makes good sense to me. It's about having conversations, visual conversations, recording conversations, and a conversation that's going to grow through social media. And explain exactly how the, the, the web, the internet, and, um, and these kind of things uh, um, can be used for the, the force of good. But if it does stand for anything, it's the Museum of Science and Industry Ambient Learning Open Network Group. But now that we've told you that, you can forget about it. So how's it along? What we try to do is to capture everything that is said. We obviously can't get everything, so we get the key ideas and the key themes. We sometimes call it keynote listening, in fact. Um, and, and then we just put the words up, and where possible, we kind of illustrate it with um, the, the thing that they've been talking about. I think looking at the process people go through to get engaged with museums and with social media would be really interesting and trying to find out um, what people um, are getting from it. I thought it was pretty interesting. Like, I went over to the machine room which is over there. It's got a lot of machines in it, uh, steam engines, diesel engines and I've never used to be interested in that but I find that as I get older I get more interested in more kind of geeky things like that. It's public initiative where people can come along and they can contribute material. It's a fascinating and interesting 
topic. When I told somebody earlier on today where I was going, they said, where's Moses? I said, well, it's the Mosey in the science and industry. And they said, oh, that's another acronym that's been created. It's a very modern society that we live in. But I said, well, sometimes as a representative for Age Concern, we've got to make people aware that we need to latch on to change and new ideas and things that, you know, the way things change. So, uh, yeah, it sort of sums up the fact that there's change and we've got to grab hold of it, shirt tails. What I like about Mosey a lot is it gives people a chance to get their own stories out of stuff that's in museums or indeed the stuff that's in their communities, their homes, their families, or they've got themselves because it, they then start to create museum life. Mosey is a box, Pandora's box, which is there for you to explore.